Hey, this is Brian from Corn, and you're watching Tattoo.com. Jeez, I'm talking more than you, and it's his interview. Oh my goodness. What you got to ask me then? Well, I was just really, really interested in, you know, I know we talked about you being saved before and stuff. Um, I gotta get back in at ten, uh, in 10 minutes. Oh, okay. I can do this my, in my five, I leave. promise. I'll my do it. My friends are gonna leave. So, all right, well, then is what we'll you do. You can edit thing. in the editing room, right? Yes, we can. Okay. Hi, it's Mel, and I'm sitting here with the one and only head who I love. I, I, I truly, like, seriously. My middle name's Mel. <laughs> For real life, or are you just like saying that to make I me? I just happy? said that. You see, just, see um, how he is. He just does things that make people happy. Yeah, I love God, but I lie always. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've talked a lot about God, Jesus, and music, but I'm really also curious as to the last time I talked to you was you showing your movie Loud Crazy Love for yeah! the first time, and you liked it. Oh my gosh, it changed my it changed my whole being. But now that it's been out, it's in public consumption. It's everywhere. What are your results that you're seeing from that? What's what is you? What are you getting? We're getting a lot of uh, families that are uh, a lot of corn fans, and sometimes not even fans of corn. Just really loving the um, the story about um, addiction and redemption, and um, non Christians, Christians, and uh, just a lot of uh, people that are stoked, and uh, they have hope you know for life like they can get through their family issues because there's a lot of family issues in that movie you know with divorce with single parenthood with you name it and so just a lot of feedback with that and if they're looking at our mess go man if we if they can get through all that then maybe there's hope for our family you know and so but we just want i want people to see like you know god is real and that if you just give it over to him and and trust and watch and wait and do what you can do with forgiveness and all that, um, then he'll do the same for you, you know? So how powerful in, in what was it like to, to not only do the film, uh, you know, about your family and your experience and, and all of it, but having your daughter like with you, not just in the movie, but like as you're going on this journey together, like I see you guys do events together sometimes and, yeah, you, you know, what is that like? It's a trip. It's a... Uh, it's so rewarding because she used to be, I raised her a Christian, I tried to when I left the band, and then she got, like she saw the hypocritical side to Christianity, she saw the judgment, she saw like, you know, people using her to, Christian people try to use her to get to me, you know, and so, but, so she was like bitter, she was like, I don't want nothing to do with Christians, you know. And she didn't know where she she was with God. And now for her to be able to be, to forgive all that and just know that people are, are messed up, man. And she's like going along this journey with me. It's like, it's a miracle. I just, I, and, and I, I'm going to tell you this only because I love you. I really admire her and I kind of like her more than you. Just by <laughs> so I love Sorry, to hear, Mac. I love but to I hear mean, that. Like when I was sitting there and I was, you know, well, like I said, my first contact was the book, and you know, so that was kind of the precursor. And then yeah. I saw the movie, and then just the whole story, and then being in the world that we're so you in. Know her all life, yeah. And as a mom, I was just like watching you do this parenting thing, and I'm like, wow. And then I watched her grow. I mean, obviously, only through what you shared, yeah. And what was online, it's like, what it, it gives. I mean, her, the strength. Like, I mean, you know, the, just the strength in, in listening to her and watching her and seeing her do like these events and stuff. I was just like, wow. You know, I, it's so amazing. I, I can't even. I couldn't even uh, have guessed how that life would turn out like this. You know, and so it's not life's not perfect, but just her and seeing her talk to people and inspire people. You know, and then people are contacting her because they want her for. You know just her for events now you know and so that's what we want she wants I want her to do um, she actually wants to do events by herself too and uh, we're doing a, most with me but she's just grown into this young woman I think it's wonderful because um, when you're going through stuff when you're broken you need to not only see that other people are broken but that broken people can be fixed and that's part of like, you know, that's the amazing part of like your story. You know, like you said, you were amazed that it wasn't just corn fans. And I tell people, I'm like, I don't care if you know who corn is or not. I'm like, 
this movie crosses every single line that you can imagine, whether it's finding God, whether it's being a parent, where it's addict, I mean, just everything. I, you guys didn't leave one thing out of it. Right. And, and it was so raw. Like, I was a mess. I still am a mess every time I think about it and see it. I'm just like. I appreciate that, what? though. That's what I've been saying. Like, it's not just a corn fan thing. It's not just a Christian thing. It's, a, it's like real, raw life. Um, circumstances spoken about in a movie that's not Boy. Christianese. It's 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 like everyone there's, there's you know it's, it's just a it's a group of people. There's non Christians, Christians. There's there's you know music. There's family and there's you know growing up, teenage problems and everything. So I've been saying that since the beginning, but you know I think it's going to be a slow burner where uh, where you know it's it's going to have a, a they say it's going to have legs where it's going to keep um, work. I think we're going to be able to work it and get new people to see it for years, you know? That's because it's timeless. Like the Bible is timeless. This is timeless because it... The story, testimonies are timeless, yes, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. You know, and it, it, like I said, it hits everything. Like as a as a parent, it hit me. As, as a lost soul, it hit me. As a recovering... I mean, it just hit me everywhere. How old are you? I mean, sorry. No, how that's old, okay. How old are your kids? As long as you don't ask me my weight, we're good. I, I meant, how old are your kids? 20. One? Just one. But very Boy or girl, I forget. Worldly. I'm a little bit of both right now. So we, um, our child, we, we love. And see, that was another thing too when I was talking truth and grace. Um, you know, we raised child where very worldly. We love child. We have a great relationship. Mm -hmm. But part of, I think, the disconnect from child to God is, well, you know, gays and lesbians and transgender and all this. And I'm like, but, you know, everybody's not like that. There are lines that are crossed. So right. we just have to go with God and pray and, and we just love Just love, love, love. Relationship is the biggest thing. I hate when people like, you know, parents get into this thing with their kids and then the relationship is broken. You know, it's like, that's, that's not going to get nobody nowhere except division. Yeah. And what did Jesus pray before he left the earth? He said that they would all be united as one father as me and you are one and so what's the biggest thing that the temptation is to divide and yeah it's pretty screwed up so i just wanted to thank you i I'm, I'm not trying to cut you short but i know you got better places to be with me plus you don't want me no, to start blubbering again do you, you guys are going to come hang out too yeah.